<laughs> don't you ever knock? You knew I was coming. Yeah, but that don't mean I want you prancing up in here without <laughs> knocking. You won't be complaining when you hear what I have to tell you. What's up? Your NBA stock is what's up. I heard rumors. Teams are already freeing up cap space, getting ready to make serious offers. I got GMs and scouts I couldn't talk to in a million years reaching out to me. <laughs> when offseason comes, we're just gonna be back in trucks up to the bank. <laughs> yeah, that's all good. Just one thing, just please, 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 be careful out there. Don't get hurt or roll an ankle or tear an ACL. God forbid it. Not, we just not, be back to where we started. Not those three letters, man. Never, never say that. It's like some voodoo stuff. Please, man. We never talk about injuries, man. I'm so sorry. You just, just take care of your stuff on the court. I'll take care of business on my end. If everything goes right, we'll all be getting paid, okay? All right, man. I'm going to take care of my stuff on the court. No more talk about that stuff, though, man. Hey. That's my meal ticket. <sighs> hey, 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 man, check this out. So that's how it is, huh? What the heck is this? Yo, what are you doing on my phone, man? You ain't my mom. What you doing giving up on this team? Planning your next season before this season's even over. Man, it ain't none of your business. Stay out my phone and stay out my face. I handle myself like a professional every single day, all right? What I'm doing with my future, it ain't got nothing to do with you. You tripping, man. Stay out my phone. Let's go to Jonathan next. You're up. Who would you say is to blame for your team's recent woes? You or your teammates? Well, we rise and fall as one. And in our locker room, there are no finger pointers. There's no egos. We all know we need to get back to work and get better. You there. Next question. You must be frustrated with all those mistakes out there tonight. What do you got to do to limit those next time out? It is very frustrating. I just got to get better. It's unacceptable how much I turned the ball over tonight. I mean, all I can do is get back to work and get better, man. That's it. You, sir? Well, it's no secret you're approaching free agency. Do you plan to give a hometown discount if they make an offer? You know, I'm not really concerned with that, all right? I just want to finish the season off nice and strong and let my agent deal with the numbers. You mean to tell me you're the only professional athlete who doesn't care about money? That's not what I said. I said I let my agent deal with the numbers. You may not believe this, but all of us just don't sit up at night dreaming about how much bank we can make. Some of us just want to play the game, run with good teammates and compete for a title. I mean, it might blow your mind, but I'm just trying to hope, bro. Does that answer your question? So I thought. Thank you. It must have been that girl I met at that restaurant on 89th. I knew I shouldn't trust her. I left my phone on the table while I was talking to a friend. She sent messages to all my clients. This is all on me. 100% my fault. He was just playing. He knew we'd never discuss another team while we're still under contract here. You gotta believe me, man. So, is that how this all went down? Just a big misunderstanding that started with a stolen cell phone? Sir, I don't know how that message got sent or leaked out publicly, but I want to let you know I'm 100% behind our team. I'm ready to play in our next game in our uniforms right here at home. I'm ready to go like always. That's good enough for me, son. Now get back to work. And you, I suggest you password protect that phone of yours. Already done. Man, come on. Go. 